मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स विशेष सिंह सर वेलकम टू यू टू आवर इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल सर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस चैप्टर सिक्स ग्रामर सेक्शन स्टैंडर्ड फोर दर इज kinds of adverbs chapter 6 standard 4 subject kinds of adverbs you see what is an adverb what is an adverb what modifies the verb What modifies the verb is called an adverb. What is that? An adverb. So, students, there are several types of adverbs. But what is necessary? For your standard, for you children, that's I'm telling you. Because when you will go higher classes, you will learn about adverbs. You will learn more about adverbs. So in standard four. it has been given four types of adverbs okay it has given four types of adverbs so let us discuss what are they number 1 adverb of time number 2 adverb of place नंबर थ्री आडवर बा मैनर नंबर फोर आडवर बा फ्रीक्वेंसी सो इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म यू कैन कीप इट बाय हार्ट दैट वेरी शॉर्ट फॉर्म ए शॉर्ट ट्रिक आई एम टेलिंग यू इफ सपोज समन आंक यू इन योर स्टैंडर्ड इन योर कोर्सेस ऑफ स्टडी व्हाट आर देयर How many types of adverbs you have learned in your standard four? So, a very short trick is there. P, P, M, F. Short form. T, P, M, F. T, P, M, F. T for time. P for place. M for manner. F for frequency. There are several types of uh, types of adverbs you will learn more about that in your higher classes. Okay, let us discuss bit by bit with examples. Okay. So students, we have to discuss these points. Bit by bit with examples. First comes adverb of time. Just I told you T P M F T for time, P for place, M for manner, and A for frequency. T P M F T for time. That means adverb of time. P for place. Adverb of place. Ever manner, ever of manner, and a transfer frequency, ever of frequency. So the first point comes ever of time. We can put ever of time. We can put ever of time at the beginning 
or at the end of a sentence. We can use our verb at the beginning of a sentence or we can use our verb at the end of a sentence. In the middle part of the sentence, we can't use adverb of time. We can't use adverb of time in the middle part of the sentence. So, here is two examples for you. She is learning music. She is learning music. These days means these days refers to adverb of time. Here, this adverb has been placed at the end of the sentence. These days has been used at the end of the sentence. Then another example for you. Yesterday I saw her at the market. Yesterday I saw her at the market. Here you see yesterday refers to armor of time. Yesterday refers to the armor of time. Here I have used this armor at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, yesterday is the adverb. It refers to time. It is an adverb. And it has been used at the beginning of the sentence. And this one has been used at the end of the sentence. Okay, then some adverbs. So, students, first comes. In number one, adverbs of time. Adverbs of time. We can put adverbs of time at the beginning of a sentence or at the end of a sentence. Adverbs of time can be used at the beginning of a sentence or at the beginning or at the end of a sentence at the beginning or at the end suppose you see I am giving an example she is learning music these days here you see these days is the adverb and it has been applied at the end of the sentence she is learning music these days. Here you see, these days has been used at the end of the sentence. Then, next sentence, these days she is learning music. These days she is learning music. Here you see, these days has been applied, these days has been applied at the beginning of the sentence. Here we see at the end of the sentence, here we see at the beginning of the sentence. Show more words that refer, these words refer to the adverbs of time. Adverbs of time. Today, tonight, yesterday, tomorrow, last week, last night, next week, the other day. And these words these phrases refer to the adverbs of time. They both words refer to the adverbs of time. Okay, understand? Then, second point. Adverbs of place. The adverbs we refer to the place. It's called the adverbs of place. Then we usually put the adverbs of place. We usually put adverbs of place after the verb and object. Adverbs of place can be used 
adverbs of place can be used can be applied after the verb and object after the verb and object here certain example i am giving you see leaves here you see leaves is the verb leaves is the verb and here is the adverb leaves is the verb here is the adverb so here is the adverb comes after the verb leaves okay then some common words here these are the adverbs here there at home at school at the tree in the river on the table under the chair here you see these are the adverbs what some two more examples i am giving you we play in the park here you see play is the verb what i told you the adverb of place comes after the verb or after the object after the verb and after the object here you see we play in the park play is the verb play is the verb and in the park is the adverb and this adverb comes after the verb play after the verb play in the past comes it is the adverb then we play games in the park here you see games we play games in the park here you see in the park is the adverb what i told you after the verb or after the object here you see game is the object game is the object then comes in the park it is the adverb so this adverb has been applied after the object game here you see game is the object and in the park is the adverb okay understand so friends number 3 comes adverbs of manner what is adverbs of manner we use adverbs of manner we use adverbs of manner after the verb and after the object also after the verb and after the object for example lata was reading silently lata was reading silently here you see reading is the verb and silently is the adverb so the adverb silently comes after the verb then second example lata was reading a book silently lata was reading a book silently here you see book is the object book is the object and silently is the adverb so the adverb silently comes after the object a book after after the object a book some common words to be used the adverbs of manner what is what are they when badly sadly loudly carefully carelessly so students here is the trick for you the trick is that how you can recognize an adverb of manner generally in most of the cases the adverbs of manner the adverbs of manner 
generally comes at the end of the word ly le ly you say badly there is the ly sadly ly loudly ly carefully ly carelessly ly so it will be easier for you to recognize if you see any word and ly is there at the end of the word you can call it the armor of manners okay understand then point number 4 adverbs of frequency adverbs of frequency we use shorter adverbs before the main verb or after the helping verb the adverbs of frequency there are two categories one is shorter adverbs of frequency and another one is longer adverbs of frequency so shorter adverbs of frequency comes before the main verb or after the helping verb two examples i am giving you i will never tell a lie i will never tell a lie here you see never never is the adverb never is the adverb and tell is the verb tell is the verb i will never tell a lie here you see never comes before the main verb that is tell here you see tell is the main verb and never is the adverb i will never tell a lie in next sentence i am never late for school here never is the adverb and am is the helping verb it is the helping verb and never is the adverb i am never late for school then longer adverbs are used at the end of the sentence those at the longer adverbs they are used at the end of the sentence these are the examples of adverbs of frequency never always often usually sometimes every day every week and every month okay understand let us do the exercises the first exercise rewrite each sentence with the word in bracket these are the bracketed words and we have to use them in proper places in appropriate places this this is the adverb the words in brackets are adverbs and we have to use them we have to apply them we have to write them in proper places following the rules and regulations of your text my sister is polite here always in the bracket 
So the answer is my sister is always polite. Sister is always polite. Next question is he is coming here today. He is coming here. Coming here. And today is in the bracket. The answer is he is coming here today. He is coming here today. Then question number three. I will forget my friends. Never is in the bracket. I will forget my friends. Never is in the bracket. So we have we have to apply the verb never in its proper place. So the answer is I will never forget my friends. I will never forget my friends. Question number four. Manu is late for school. Manu is late for school. Here you see, often is there. Often is the adverb. We have to, we have to apply adverb. We have to use adverb in its proper place. So the answer is, Manu is often late for school. Understand? Then question number six. We play in the park. In the bracket, there is the adverb. Sometimes. So the answer is we play in the park sometimes. We play in the park sometimes. Question number six. We painted our house. We painted our house. In bracket, there is the answer last year. So we have to apply last year in its proper place. We paint the answer is we painted our house last year. We painted our house last year. Question number seven. The old man was walking. The old man was walking. There is a hour in the bracket. That is usually. Sorry. Slowly. That is slowly. The old man was walking slowly. The old man was walking Slowly. Question number eight. She reaches home before 6 p.m. She reaches home before 6 p.m. Then usually the answer in the bracket. So we have to use them, use it in the proper place. That's why right. she usually reaches home before 6 p.m. Okay? Then Second part, use the adverbs in simple sentences. Use the adverbs in simple sentences. Here is the adverbs here, there, often, where, sadly, never, always. Here, he comes here every Sunday. He comes here every Sunday. Then there, you please go there and get the affairs. Here, there is the adverb. Then often, he is often late for school. He is often late for school. When? Lata sings well. Lata sings well. Can you see? Well is that one. Then sadly, she treated us. Sorry. Badly. She treated us badly. Here you see. Badly is the adverb. Then never. He received. Never. Never. He never tells a lie. Never. He, he never tells a lie. Okay? Understand? Always. He is always late for school. Loudly. So no talks loudly in class. Today. Today is Sunday. Yesterday, yesterday my father came from 
worry. Tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Monday. So students, if you are satisfied with my teachings, then give me like, comment or share. Thank you.